What up, though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I get these 10,000 steps in. We're going to talk about the bad boy and why women are attracted to the bad boy. Well, the bad boy is usually fun. The bad boy is exciting. The bad boy is mysterious, oftentimes. The bad boy projects a, an energy of really not giving a damn. These things women find to be very desirable personality traits. You know, these are things that women are attracted to that usually the nice guy, he doesn't have going on for himself. The nice guy is a bit more reserved. The nice guy is a bit more careful. You know, the, the nice guy is, you know, he's just cautious. He's, he's thinking, you know, well, if I do this, what would this person think? If I do that, how would that affect that person? These are things that the bad boy just never worries about. You know, the bad boy has a bit of an edge to him. And uh, that too, women find to be, you know, desirable. Now, I'm not a bad boy. You know, I was in my younger years. I very much uh, was so. I've calmed down quite a bit. You know, I, uh, I still have a bit of an edge to me. You know, I'm just nowhere near... <laughs> as much of a motherfucker as I was when I was a younger man. But because I was that guy before, this is how I can tell you the things that the bad boy does that women find to be desirable. So I'm not telling you to become a bad boy. You know, there's a lot of pros that come with it. No question about that. Uh, I definitely had a good time during those years. There are some cons, but to be quite honest with you, the pros usually outweigh the cons as long as you're not doing anything illegal. But even though I'm not advocating for you to become a bad boy, because that just might not be you. And that's that's cool, too. You might be the nice guy. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be a nice guy. Some people say you shouldn't. I'm going to say that maybe you should kind of curb some of those nice guy things you know you can start with not caring as much you know this you can still be a nice guy and not really care so much about what people think you know i oftentimes advocate for you guys to do that to you know get out of your head about stuff take action stop worrying about how this is going to affect this person or that's going to affect that person because chances are people don't really care you know there'll be things that you can do in a moment where you could have a great experience, create a great memory, and you're too busy worried about what's going on around who's gonna see you. You're worried that people are gonna see you and they're going to judge you. That's something that the bad boy never does. The bad boy lives in the moment. He's gonna have his good time and he really doesn't care what this person or that person thinks about it one way or another. You know, I wasn't always that way. When I was younger, younger, I tried to like, be out of the way it's trying to be invisible almost and i grew like a weed i became tall i played a lot of sports so i was getting in really good shape there was no way that i was going to be able to just fall back and be a wallflower so i kind of had to get used to being seen and become comfortable with being seen and that did kind of develop into me being a bit of a bad boy um, but that's that's not everybody's life. You know, not everybody's going to be that way. Not everybody's a six foot four, 220 pound guy. So I get it. You know, it might be a little easier for you to kind of stay back and be invisible. But I'm telling you, making a conscious effort to do that is holding you back. And these are things that the bad boy doesn't do. And this is why if you're one of those nice guys, you might find that women i'm gonna go this way because this has got more shade you might find that women they're less attracted to you they're less interested in going out with you because you're a little too safe you know being safe is a good thing but there's also the such thing as being just a little too safe because they perceive you being too safe as being boring and that's just something that the nice guy doesn't have to worry about women hate being bored right i'm gonna tell you that right now women absolutely hate being bored Women will forgive you for anything except boring them. You know, a woman will forgive you for cheating on her, 
but she will not be so forgiving about you boring her. So what the bad boy represents is fun and excitement and she's guaranteed not to be bored with him. So you gotta kinda find a hybrid of that. I'm not saying change who you are, you know, become some different guy, go from being a nice guy to a bad boy. What I'm saying is some of those nice guy traits that are holding you back, that are kind of making you a bit boring, you know, repeal those and live a little bit, you know, become a bit more outgoing, talk to women a bit more, exude a bit more confidence. These are very attractive traits that you're going to have to um, become adept at and eventually master to change your results. So I hope you get that. These are some of the key differences between a nice guy and the bad boy and why ultimately the bad boy wins. The women find the bad boy to be more attractive. He's fun. He's exciting. He's oftentimes mysterious. He has edge to him. Women like that a lot. They like that a lot more than the safe guy. You know, the safe guy has its the safe guy has his benefits. But to be quite honest with you, a lot of them aren't looking for the safe guy until they looking for a stepfather, you know, and I know y'all don't want to become that. So I know that's like worst case scenario. You're like, dang, man, why'd you have to go there, Chris? You just went right there. You just went right for the jugular. It's because I care about y'all, man. And, you know, I'm I'm never going to sugarcoat it. I'm always going to tell you what I think is in your best interest. So uh, take what I'm saying. Apply what you can where you can you don't have to just transform and be something you're not if you're not a bad boy if that's not you that's not your life that's cool you don't have to become that guy but what you will need to do is change a bit of how you operate so that you don't come off as the nice boring super safe not so fun guy that they're not checking for until they need a stepfather so appreciate y'all connecting with me I'm gonna get back to doing these steps. As you know, 10,000 steps downtown, we always own it. Uh, holla at y'all later, man. Leave them comments, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.